thing I got. Four quarters. Four quarters on the way. Let's go, baby. Khalil Mack got him. Touchdown! And we can never forget those great fans. The roar would be deafening to see you all in those silver and black uniforms and have you all individually introduced to the roar of the crowd. Josh McCown. There's pressure from Khalil Mack. It'll sack Cousins. Khalil Mack got there, and they drop him. Here comes Mack. They sack him. Let's go, Raider Nation. Let's go. But first of all, this your boy LB. It's LB TV. I would like to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas, Raider Nation. Merry Christmas to all my subscribers, to all the viewers. <clears throat> Merry Christmas to uh, YouTube, YouTubers, whoever. A Merry Christmas to everybody. The whole world. The whole world. Merry Christmas. But Monday night at 8.30, the Oakland Raiders will be taking on the Philadelphia Pigeons. The Philadelphia Pigeons. The Oakland Raiders will be taking on the Philadelphia Pigeons. So, yeah. Oakland got to take a trip to Philly, Philadelphia to take on the Pigeons. So, yeah. 
we all know how last week went. <clears throat> I hope everybody got the anger, got the rants all, got cooled down, let go they hurt, and they hate towards Derek Carr for not running out of bounds. I just hope everybody just put it to the side. But this, we still have a chance to make the playoffs. We still have a chance to make the playoffs. Because we needed Baltimore to win one of their two. And that's what they did. They beat the Colts Thursday, I believe. So now we need Miami to win their next two. And we need Buffalo to lose their next two. And the crazy part is, Miami is playing Kansas City. Miami is playing Kansas City. And I believe Miami can beat Kansas City. And next week, Miami is playing Buffalo. Miami is playing Buffalo. And this week, Buffalo is playing New England. So I believe Miami can win the next two. Because we need them to win the next two. We need Miami. So it can be a five-way tie. And that's what Baltimore did. They won Thursday night. So Miami, if Miami can beat Kansas City, we good. But we have to win against Philly and the Chargers. Because the Chargers are 7-6. Hold on, the Chargers 7-6. No, the Chargers are 7-7. Seven seven. Hold on, are they 7-7? Seven seven? Yeah, they 7-7 seven seven because they lose this week, they be 7-8. They lose next week, they be 7-9. And we got to win out of that too. So we can be 8-8. Eight eight. Yeah, that's how it go. So we have to beat Philly and we have to beat the Chargers. Miami has to beat Buffalo and the Chiefs. Buffalo got to lose to New England and lose to Miami. And we in there. We in there. It'll be a five-way tie, and we can get in with the fifth seed. But the chances of that falling in our favor is 2%. It's 2% chance that they can actually fall into our favor. But these last two weeks are going to tell it all. These last two weeks are going to tell it all. We can actually get into playoffs. But we got to focus on this Philly game. It's one game at a time, man. One game at a time. But... We don't know. We, I don't know what's going to happen. Because we're playing against Nick Foles. I have really haven't watched film on Nick Foles. And the film I have seen is he okay, but he really not that good. But with a defense that like Pagano have, and with a defensive player like Mac, Autry, and Irvin, he going to fold. He going to fold. Like take that E off and put a D, he going to fold. Instead of Nick Foles, he gonna Nick fold. He gonna Nick gonna fold and choke. He gonna fold and choke. So I'm gonna expect I'm gonna expect a couple sacks. I'm gonna expect Khalil Mack at least get three or four sacks. Khalil Mack gonna get three or four sacks. Bruce Irvin gonna get at least like two. I don't believe the Eagles offensive line is that good to block Mack and Irvin. So like last week, the defense got to create turnovers. <clears throat> the defense has to create turnovers. The offense has to score. I said it last week. The offense has to score. The offense can't score. We can't win games. We cannot win games. The defense given getting the stops. It's just the offense can't score. I believe it's time to get rid of Jack Del Rio and Todd Downing. <clears throat> Cause it made no sense that this offense, with all this talent, Cannot score. It make no sense. An offense with all this talent cannot score. I know we didn't have a Mark Cooper last week, but we got a Mark Cooper this week. So hopefully a Mark Cooper will take some attention, take some of that attention off of Crabtree. Cause like last week, when after that pass in the first play, that play, that next play was designed for Crabtree, but the referee cheated and took Crabtree out the game. For a concussion protocol. Crabtree didn't even get hit in the head. Like, come on now. But when Marshawn Lynch ran over number 33, actually trucked him, actually made some contact to the person's head, why the referee didn't take him out? Marshawn Lynch laid a hit on him. Marshawn laid a vicious hit on that guy, number 33. So the league needs to start looking into the referees, the cheating. See, this is why I don't like NFL. This is why I don't like Roger Goodell. Nor do I like that vice president. See, they not clapping down on these referees. Because these referees are playing favoritism and they cheating. And these referees getting paid on the table to cheat 
and throw games and blow games for certain teams. Like, people don't understand that. These referees are being paid under the table. Like, Jerry Jones, he had something to do with that Raiders game getting blown. Getting screwed. I'm saying screwed. Jerry Jones, I ain't gonna lie. Jerry Jones have something to do with that referee screwing the Raiders. He got paid. I don't care what nobody say. That referee got paid. You can't be that dumb to not know that wasn't uh, first down. You see, it was so much space. It was so much space in between the ball. He actually put the paper in between the pole and the ball. And this man stood up here talking about the tip of the ball was touching the pole. If the tip of the ball was touching the pole, how did he get the paper in, in between the ball and the pole? Can he explain that? That's why Roger Goodell and that vice president, he need to, they need to put their foot down and fight these referees. Because these games are being screwed and fucked over due to these referees. Bad calls. I kind of, for a fact, he got paid by Jerry Jones under the table. He was like, here you go. If it come down to a certain play where Oakland and Dallas or Dallas could lose the game and Oakland have a chance to win, I want you to screw the Raiders and blow the game or turn the game around. Or call the, call, call the, um, make the call in the favor for the Cowboys. I know Jerry Jones did that. He got the money to do it. I know he did. It's all cool, because Jerry Jones, he going to meet his common dog. Because this is the same guy that refereed for the Green Bay Dallas game. And he said Dez Brown didn't catch the ball. And Dez Brown didn't, ca didn't catch the ball. He dropped the ball. But it's all cool. It's all cool. But, yeah. So, I'm going to predict the Raiders to win this game. I'm going to predict the Raiders to come out with anger. A little bit of frustration, a little bit of desperation, because he might have a chance to get into the playoffs. So I'm gonna say desperation and integrity, integrity, man. They'll come out firing, dog. They gonna come out firing. Like they gonna have something to prove. I ain't gonna lie. The Raiders might put up 40 on Philly, cause the Raiders gonna come out with something to prove. Cause they mad, they angry. They will come out playing hard. They will come out giving it the all. Cause the Raiders do not want to go home. Their goal this season was to bring Oakland a Super Bowl. Their goal this season, into this season, was to win Super Bowls and win championships. With the team they have, the talent they have, the skills they have, their expectation was very high beginning of the season, way before preseason. After the draft pick, their expectation was high. Their mindset was Super Bowl. Their mindset was to win as many games as possible. Their goal was get home field advantage. Bring the trophy to Oakland. But Sean Lynch was the help. Expectation for Marshawn Lynch was high. So everything turned left when they didn't get rid of Todd Downing week five, week four. Cause after week four, week three, I seen him jacking up. But that's all I got to say, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all to death. This your boy LB. It's LB TV, man. Merry Christmas to everybody. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. I'm all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I love y'all, man. But, pray the nation all day, every day. Let's go. Move makers, man. Move makers. Let's make this move, Oakland. Let's go, man. I'm all. Y'all be blessed. Peace.
just 